Hi all. Welcome to yet another video from Robots the Next Species on Earth. In this video, we will learn how to create automatic water level indicator and controller system using Arduino. Let's learn the designing and working of this project using given block diagram. The project is mainly having six blocks. Let's learn one by one. The first block is a 16 cross 2 LCD display which is the output unit. This will be mainly responsible for displaying the water level and pump status. The second block is the Arduino, this is considered as the brain of this project. This will be controlling and coordinating all the other blocks. The third block is the buzzer. We use this unit to make the project more user friendly. This will produce buzzing sound while the water level is very low. The fourth block is the sonar sensor. This is mainly responsible for measuring the water level. The fifth block is a single channel relay board. Arduino will be controlling the pump using this section. The sixth block is submersible pump. This will be using to refill the water tank. Let's understand the working principle of the sonar sensor. Sonar sensor emits an ultrasound at 40 kilohertz, which travels through the air. And if there is an object or obstacle on its path, it will bounce back to the module. Considering the travel time and the speed of the sound, you can calculate the distance. Arduino will use the echo pin, present on ultrasonic sensor to measure sound wave travel time in microseconds. In this case, sonar sensor will be placed on the top of the water tank. Here the obstacle would be the water. Water level can be calculated using the formula shown here. The measured water level in centimeters will be further converted into water level diagram and same will be displayed on 16 cross 2 LCD display. Buzzing sound will be produced by the buzzer and Arduino will start the pump while the water level is very low. Similarly, Arduino will power off the pump once the tank is full. Now let's move to the components required to build this project. You can purchase all the components shown here from third-party vendors like Amazon, eBay etc. Let's move to the circuit diagram. Let's only talk about the main connections to short down the length of the video. Connect trigger pin on the sonar sensor to the Arduino digital pin 12. Similarly, connect echo pin to the digital pin 11. Buzzer is connected to digital pin 13. Relay control pin is connected to digital pin 10. Common pin of the relay is connected to positive terminal of the submersible water pump. Similarly, normally open port is connected to AC phase. Pin A0 to A5 is connected to LCD display. Voltage regulator will provide 5 volt operating voltage to Arduino. Similarly, Relay is operated by 12 volt DC. Now we can move to the programming section. Make sure to download the new ping library from the given link. This library will be downloaded in zip file. You can import this library to your Arduino software by going sketch, import library, add library. For uploading the code, connect Arduino to your computer using the USB cable and click on the upload button. This will upload the code to your Arduino. Visit link given in the below description to find the code. Now we can start assembling the circuit.
You can see the tank is empty. Let's power on the circuit. Arduino has powered on the pump. You can see the pump is automatically powered off by Arduino while tank is full. So our project is working as per our design. Visit the link in the below description to know more about this project. Please visit our website for more free Arduino projects.